So we're here to share the results of a study where our research team looked at library journal publishing support activities in Canada and the United States. Our research took a deeper look at why some libraries describe their services in this area as hosting services, while others describe a similar suite of services as publishing services. In asking these questions, we were touching on broader questions of library identity, and we're seeking a nuanced view of how the library community sees the role of the library in the production of scholarship. With thanks to the Library Publishing Coalition for sharing with us a machine actionable version of the Library Publishing Directory, we compiled a sampling frame of US and Canadian libraries and engaging in journal publishing support activities. We gathered a critical case sample of US and Canadian institutions, ensuring representation from libraries who identified as hosts and libraries who identified as publishers, and conducted eight semi-structured interviews. To glean a better understanding of the extent to which the views surfaced through the interviews were held by the broader library community, we compiled what we learned from those conversations into a survey. This survey was circulated to the institutions represented in our sampling frame. So Jacqueline will now share with us the results. Um, so here are a few of the things that we found. Uh, we found a lot of things. We collected a lot of data. Unsurprisingly, uh, it's complicated. We went in with a binary question and sort of threw that out the window pretty quickly. Um, probably not surprising to you that we heard a lot about there being a spectrum or a continuum of work. Um, but there was a lot of sort of back and forth about whether this was a publishing spectrum and hosting sat somewhere separately, or whether hosting was at one end of the spectrum with full-fledged publishing at the other. We also heard a lot of emphasis that any place on this spectrum could, could produce high quality work, that um, it was very disciplinary specific, what was expected in terms of services, and um, also past precedent sort of determined what was expected. The phrase library publishing was not one that we had started out with, but it came up a lot. Obviously, library publishing is a phrase that is meaningful to a lot of us, um, and uh, you know we feel that it's an important way to talk about the way that we're doing work, but it also was a phrase that was a problem for a lot of people that we spoke to. Um, they thought it suggested actually lower quality work. Um, I'm gonna skip those. Uh, so a question that we asked at the beginning of the survey was, do you consider yourself a publisher or a host? A lot of people said they were a publisher, and when we asked who is the publisher of record, they said, um, you know, we got a lot of it depends, you know, from journal to journal, but we also got a surprising number of, I'll have to check, I'm not sure, I'll get back to you. So um, the relationship between being a publisher and being a publisher of record is not a clear one. And finally, we were really interested in sort of pushing on um, the way that uh, the university culture, institution, presence of a press, funding, history, uh, influenced whether people were uh, willing to call themselves a publisher versus a host, and we found nothing. There was the, nothing statistically significant in that. Okay, so um, a paper based on the research that we've showed is submitted and is under review, but our biggest challenge when writing this paper was the volume of data. You know, we hit a wall at 6,500 words. We were only halfway through the first paper, so you're really only getting a tiny, tiny slice of what we have to share. Um, we didn't have the space to do it justice um, to a very clear difference that we've noticed between Canadian and U.S. institutions. So that's where we're headed next, and the next two slides are just going to give you a taste. So, you know, looking at survey respondents um, between U.S. and Canada, so you're not going to be able to see the metadata on these charts. Oh, and then we're, we're out of time. One more chart, yes. One, one more chart? <laughs> so I guess... There are I no guess library publishers in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeanette's in the audience. She's also part of our research team. Woo! All right. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. <laughs>